I'm going to be hugging a lot of people on campus tomorrow. I think that crowd was worth 10 points and we won by nine. And so to me, that student section tonight won the game. And I hope that those students understand, man, how much they meant to that victory tonight. We don't win that game tonight without them. I mean that wholeheartedly. Um, we weren't, I mean, we didn't have things going our way in the second half. We were struggling. We couldn't find a way to score. Like Dubai said, we were falling in love with the three. I think we kind of got out of sorts. And that crowd helped us, man. They threw the ball away a little bit. They got, I mean, just everything. But the students were awesome. Um, I was a little worried with the lead at halftime that they might leave, you know, uh, and they didn't. They stayed. And, and thank the Lord they did, right? I mean, they, they uh, I said, like I said, there were 10 points and we won by nine. That tells the story. No, and, and, and the new Moody is it, it's a lot more intimate. And so, I mean, having the crowd you had, I, I mean, it is a whole different feeling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole different ball game, man. I mean, I think uh, now what we have to make sure is that these guys come back. You know, first game, all that, there's excitement. Julie needs them, you know, on, on Wednesday, and then we need them next week. Uh, and then we go two weeks where we're strictly on the road. When we come back, we need these, these students here every single game. Like, I mean, the only positive to us losing that lead tonight was maybe the game became fun, you know, again, like it didn't get boring. And, and so hopefully the students had a blast. I'm a man of my word. I know we had five. I know we had that student section full. I'm going to feed them before the game next week. And if we can do it again, I'll feed them the game after that. But we got to fill it every time for me to feed these guys. But, but I'm so thankful for them. Uh, I'm going to be talking about that all week. And I'm serious. I'm going to be walking all over campus tomorrow just hugging people. I don't know if they're at the game or not, but I'm, I'm going to hug them until my love. And then, otherwise, I mean, you, I mean this is pretty much typical ACU basketball, just in the sense that the defense won the game for you. Yeah, I mean, 21 turnovers for us. I told them that if we didn't turn them over 20 times, we wouldn't win. Yeah, I told them that before the game. And because typically early in the year, offense doesn't click. I mean, we banged some shots in the first half. Let, let's, let's be honest, right? And, uh, and I told them at halftime, listen, we can't just rely on that. But they didn't listen, and they kept shooting them. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, that's, the, that's 18 to 22 year old kids, right? So we've got to make sure that our defense stands. And, and I don't think we didn't turn them over in the, early in the second half, and so therefore we didn't score. Uh, but when we when we turn them over, we found a way to get points, and so I think that's the biggest that's the biggest thing is they know our identity. But we have a lot of new faces. I was trying to play some new guys, um, and so they've got to. There's a lot of nerves. I guarantee you, some of those guys that are new to the program were super nervous tonight, which I totally understand. Um, and I think it'll be a little easier, you know, next week when we're back in front of this crowd. Um, but that is ACU basketball. That's who we are. Like we, we own it. Um, it, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be a street fight every single night. Uh, I said it before the game. Tonight was going to be a street fight, and it was. That's a, that's a well-coached team. That's a team that's going to fight for an NCAA tournament berth uh, in the SWAC. And so I'm, I'm super proud, man. I, this game's been haunting me since March. And so I told I told the guys, I'm glad, I, not for me, it's for them. I, I, did, I just wanted them to make sure they had a victory on that first night in Moody. And so I'm, I'm glad they did it. I'm proud of them. They found a way to, to, to finish it out. You talk, you talk about Jackson State and they Defensively, they seem to be a mirror image of who you guys are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're really scrappy. Well, I mean, Coach Williams is, you know, he is who he is, man. I, I don't, a lot of people know who he is, but the guy is an NBA All-Star for a reason. Uh, he's brought all of that. He's recruiting at a different level for Jackson State, man. They have real players in that locker room. Uh, I think we we were the aggressor, and so that that's why we were able to pull that lead. And if we weren't the aggressor early, it would have been a very different ballgame. So talk about injuries just for a second. Yeah. Oh, I know it's not something I'm going to talk about, but Joe is out, looks like, for the unforeseeable future. Yeah. Ariel comes back tonight, though. What did he mean to get him back? Man, I, I told him I didn't think I didn't think Arion was going to be able to play 10 minutes tonight. And Arion Simmons, he logged, uh, what, 25? So it uh, just tells you who he is. The dude's a street dog, man. We've been talking a lot about street dogs this week. Um, and and that's, that dude is one. Uh, and that's a, that's a term of endearment. That, that's a, that dude will fight through anything. He's going to be hurting tomorrow. Uh, I will go physically take him and put him in that ice tub tomorrow. I know he's not going to want to jump in it, but he's going to need it. Uh, but that, that kid is a winner. He's, that, that's what he is, man. And, and so I'm just thankful for him. But it's not just him. Manny's been fighting cramps. Uh, and that's just, he, he always fights that. But Damien goes down. That, that layup Damien missed. He's a better player than that. He actually cramped midair. Um, and that's, you know, that, the air ball, he, he, he didn't draw iron. Um, he cramped. I think we had two other players cramp. Maya, the MVP of the night outside of the crowd is Maya, our trainer. She was unbelievable tonight, man, getting those guys ready and, and keeping them keeping them fresh so they could get back in the game. I, I don't know. Without her, I mean, we would, those guys would have been done tonight. So, uh, but we'll, we'll they'll get hydrated tomorrow. Uh, we'll be more prepared for the heat uh, next week when we come in here and uh, be ready to go. All right, and uh, just lastly, we close this out, Coach. Talk a little bit about going into A and M and what you guys need to do to turn around and compete there on uh, Friday. 
Yeah, I mean, here's the deal. A&M's the top 25 team in the country. Uh, and I know everybody's talked. There's been a lot of talk about how the game we had last year, and that was awesome. Uh, can we do that again? We'll see. Um, you know, could, the, the, the way we played tonight, yeah, I'm, I'm super proud. I'm happy we won. But the way we played tonight, there's no way. A team at A&M's level will run away. So uh, we've got to find a way this week to – Recalibrate ourselves. And Bias said it. We talk a lot about that one degree. You know, you start to kind of fall off one degree, one degree, one degree. You got to recalibrate, and, and I think we did that in the second half. So we've, we've got to spend these next couple of days recalibrating and get back to who we are. Uh, the reason that we had a chance last year at their place was because we turned them over, and they're going to be ready for that. But we're not taking them by surprise this week. So they are one of the best coaches teams in the country. Coach Williams is is, is one of the better coaches in the country, and uh, we're going to have to to lock in, and we're going to have to play a very different game than we did tonight to have a chance on Friday. All right, thanks so much. Thank you guys, I appreciate you.